The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is the best space telescope ever, and it's checking out our solar system and planets around other stars. It's also trying to figure out how the universe is put together and where we fit in. Recently, some scientists aimed the JWST at a star 120 light years away. Guess what? The telescope found stuff that suggests there might be carbon-based molecules in the air of a possible ocean planet way out there. Pretty cool, huh? This planet is super different from anything we have here, and it makes you wonder if there are other places where life could be. If you want to keep up with the latest space news, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, share this video, and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. So, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope made a big find on an exoplanet called K2-18b, which is about 8.6 times bigger than Earth. What makes it special? It has carbon compounds like methane and carbon dioxide in its air. That backs up previous ideas that K2-18b might be able to support life. It looks like it has a lot of hydrogen in its atmosphere and oceans on its surface. The Hubble Space Telescope took the first look at this planet's air and helped us learn a lot. K2-18b is in the Leo constellation, 120 light years away, and it goes around a dwarf star called K2-18. Planets like K2-18b, which are bigger than Earth but smaller than Neptune, are hard to find in our solar system. The fact that it might have a lot of carbon and a hydrogen atmosphere makes it interesting to scientists. Some think these planets are good places to search for life. The methane and carbon dioxide, plus the fact that there's no ammonia, makes it seem like there could be an ocean under all that hydrogen. Some early studies said there could also be dimethyl sulfide, DMS, in the air on K2-18b. On Earth, plankton in the ocean make most of it. But we're not sure if it's really there, so we need to look closer with the JWST. One astronomer from Cambridge said that just because K2-18b is in the habitable zone and has carbon doesn't mean there's life. It's also big for a planet, about 2.6 times the size of Earth, and suggests that it may have a large mantle of ice. So, even though there might be water, it might not be the right kind for life. But scientists did grab the most detailed look ever at the air of a sub-Neptune planet in the habitable zone. A Cardiff University team member said they did it by studying the light from K. 2-18b star as it passed through the planet's atmosphere. K2-18b is a transiting exoplanet. That means when it passes in front of its star, it gets dimmer. That's how NASA's K2 mission first spotted it. When that happens, some sunlight shines through the planet's atmosphere, and telescopes like JWST can use that light to figure out what gases are there. The scientists want to use JWST to double-check and get more info about the weather on K2-18b. Their big goal is to find life on other planets. But JWST has been doing other great stuff, too. Astronomers have found oily molecules, like smog, in a galaxy that's way far away. It's the earliest they've ever seen stuff like that in the universe. I find all this both amazing and a little scary. These discoveries are changing what we know about the universe. These molecules, called aromatic hydrocarbons, were in a galaxy that formed when the universe was only about 10% its current age. They're in oil and smog here on Earth and contain lots of atoms. What's wild is how quickly these complex molecules formed after the Big Bang. The light we saw from that galaxy started its there and back journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang of about 13.8 billion years. So. We're seeing the universe in its early stages. The Webb Telescope is making this possible, and will for about a billion years. If we could see even farther back, would we find even more of these molecules? What does this all mean for our knowledge of cosmology? Before, we could only tell if these molecules were there. Now, with Webb's higher resolution, we can see exactly where they are. The fact that these molecules aren't spread out evenly in the galaxy SP4-1847 is also a mystery. This galaxy was already as huge as ours, with as much stuff inside, even though it was much younger. As we learn more, we realize how huge and complicated the universe is. Each discovery gets us closer to figuring out the secrets of the stars. As our space exploration goes on, it's only a matter of time before we learn more. Tell us what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you like the video. As we get a better handle on the universe, 
the James Webb Space Telescope keeps giving us new insights. It's changing how we see exoplanets and everything else out there, pushing the limits of what we know about the cosmos. This telescope is letting us see deeper into space than ever, and it's finding mysteries that scientists have been trying to solve for ages. Finding oily molecules in galaxies far, far away is just one example of how JWST is changing what we know about the early universe. One of the coolest things about all this is that life, or things that life could use, might be in places we never thought. The telescope's ability to analyze planets so well is a huge leap forward. As we get better at it, we can find even smaller signs of life. The JWST is also helping us understand how galaxies form and change. By looking at distant galaxies, we can track how stars formed, where elements are, and learn how galaxies grow. That's helping us find out where we came from. As we keep checking out the cosmos, each new thing we find brings us closer to answering some real questions like, are we alone? And what does life need to be happy? In the next few years, we can expect even more great discoveries from the JWST. It will help us dig into early universe exoplanets and basic events, which will probably change what we thought we knew. Looking for new planets, studying their atmospheres, and finding signs of life is more likely than ever. We're realizing more and more how the universe is a mystery that the Webb Telescope with its awesome superpowers. As the James Webb Space Telescope JWST uncovers the mysteries of the cosmos, its clear mission is changing the way we see space. Its power to see into the far reaches of space with amazing clarity is creating new areas of astronomical research. The telescope's potential to observe the formation of galaxies and formation of stars will change our understanding of universe earliest stages. Discoveries from way far away is creating thoughts in everyone's minds. It shows that the ingredients needed for life may have existed far before we once thought. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope had a first look at this planet's air, and that helped us get a way better idea of what's going on. Just so you know, K2-18b is 120 light-years away in the LEO constellation, circling a dwarf star called K2-18. This star is in the habitable zone of its system, where liquid water could exist. Planets like K2-18b, that are between the sizes of Earth and Neptune, are pretty rare. We don't have any like that around here. The thought that K2-18b has a lot of carbon and hydrogen is cool for scientists. Many think these planets could be the best places to look for signs of life. Methane and carbon dioxide being there, and no ammonia, makes it more likely that this planet has an ocean under all that hydrogen. Some early studies thought they might find dimethyl sulfide there too. That's a chemical made by life here on Earth, mostly from sea plankton. But the evidence for it on K2-18b isn't strong yet. More looks with JWST should help figure out if dimethyl sulfide is really there in the air of K2-18b. One scientist from Cambridge was saying that just because K2-18b is in the habitable zone and has carbon stuff doesn't automatically mean there's life. It's also big, like 2.6 times Earth size, so it might have a thick, icy layer around its core like Neptune. And its air is mostly hydrogen with oceans on the surface. Even if there are liquid water oceans, they might be too frozen or not good enough for life. But the researchers did get the most detailed look yet at a habitable planet like Neptune, and they were able to figure out what molecules are in its air. One of the Cardiff University people said they did this by checking out the light from K2-18b star as it passed through the planet's air. K2-18b is a transiting exoplanet, which means it gets dimmer when it passes in front of its star. That's how NASA's K2 mission first spotted it. When this happens, some sunlight goes through the planet's air before it gets to telescopes like JWST. As the light goes through, it leaves signs that scientists can use to see what gases are there. Now, the team wants to keep checking with JWST to be sure of what they found and get more info on K2-18b's weather. Their big goal is to find signs of life on habitable exoplanets. New section. Oh, and JWST made some other awesome finds too. Astronomers using the telescope have found complex organic molecules similar to smog or smoke in a distant galaxy. This discovery marks the earliest detection of such molecules in the universe. Personally, I find this both inspiring and unsettling, as these findings in the farthest reaches of the cosmos are reshaping the very foundations of our cosmology. 
The importance of this discovery lies in the fact that these molecules, known as aromatic hydrocarbons, were found in a galaxy that formed when the universe was only about 10% of its current age. These carbon-based molecules, which are found in petroleum and coal deposits on Earth, as well as in atmospheric pollution like smog, are large and complex, composed of dozens or even hundreds of atoms. What makes this discovery so remarkable is that such large and complex molecules were formed so quickly after the Big Bang, defying expectations based on our existing cosmological models. To put this into perspective, the light detected from this early galaxy started its less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang, whereas the universe is about 13.8 billion years old today. This means we are witnessing some of the universe's beginnings. The detection of these complex organic molecules was made possible by the Webb Telescope, which will continue to allow us some similar observations for almost a billion more years if we could peek even further back in time. This raises profound questions about our science and our understanding of cosmology. Attempts to detect complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies could only confirm their presence, but with the Webb's higher resolution, we can inspect the small details of where these molecules are located. The uneven distribution of these molecules in the early galaxy poses an unknown mystery to the scientific community. What's truly impressive is that this galaxy was as massive as our own, with stars that had generated as much carbon and oxygen as those in the Milky Way. Humanity ventures deeper into the unknown. We are humbled by the vastness and complexity of the cosmos. We get closer to the mysteries hidden in stars as our network continues we're only a matter of time before that it more secrets will shine and ever so brightly. Your comments in the comments below if you enjoyed our video, don't get to subscribe to our channel. As we advance in our understanding of the universe, continuing provide us with our groundbreaking. Its observations are reshaping our understanding exoplanets and other celestial bodies of what we know about the cosmos. This extraordinary telescope into space than ever before, that has long eluded complex organic molecules in distant galaxies, is of how JWST is transforming our knowledge of the universes, and it's one of the most aspects of these findings is one of the places we found inhospitable. The detection of compounds in the of exoplanets like K2-18b opens up to for study potential on that may in some ways. Including carbon dioxide are often with processes here on Earth. They're in distant worlds that life is present. It prompts investigation that that could elsewhere in the universe. Able that the of exoplanets with is a forward. To the the basic the that the of this of worlds grows ability to of life are in the of gases molecules or other could to activity. The to its work on to valuable into the by the early of is a to much are the that the an and evolution the in of that the universe and as we continue to the brings closer to are we alone? What conditions would require life? How did it all evolve? That with to this of science time we new challenge now it all be? Has what are for the will for of science to with would not are in there one of human to two as one we one we in new for is of there in the or is at one are to can.